Uh, their chip center and software are probably 10 years ahead. Their thermal management system is the best on the planet. Anybody can fix a panel. Anybody can uh, fix paint. Anybody can uh, make gaps in a car better. And nobody can make, uh, can make circuit boards like what Tesla did. Nobody can produce uh, electric motors like they do. I mean, they're just... They're, 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 they're light years ahead of everyone. Any engineer that looks at a Tesla knows that it's, um, it's far and away the best, uh, the best designs on the planet. Hey, I'm Steven and this is Solving the Money Problem. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. So in this video, I'm gonna be reacting to some clips from a great new interview with Sandy Munro, the engineering expert of experts, conducted by Alejandro Sajokio. And by the way, sorry if I butchered your name there, Alejandro. My Spanish is a little bit rusty. In fact, I can only remember about four words. Volvamos a mi casa. Anyway, in this video, Sandy Munro goes into great detail about how far ahead Tesla is in everything from thermal management and their batteries to chip design and software. And also explains why Tesla stock was the very first stock he ever purchased. As always, there's a link in the description to the full interview, which I highly recommend you guys and girls check out. And for now, let's get into the video. If you love crypto, stocks, and free stuff, or just want to help out the channel, check out these great offers. BlockFi are launching the world's first Bitcoin rewards credit card. People in the US can earn 1.5% Bitcoin back on every purchase with no annual fee using the BlockFi Bitcoin rewards credit card. Check out the link in the description. And for a limited time, you can get up to $250 in crypto bonuses when funding a new account on BlockFi where you can use cryptocurrency to earn interest, borrow cash, and buy or sell crypto. If you want your free crypto, use the link in the description. And if you'd like up to two free stocks, check out the link in the description to Weeble. If you open a new account, you'll get one free stock valued up to $300 just for opening an account. And if you make an initial deposit of $5 or more, you'll get a second free stock valued up to $2,000. Seriously. Free stocks? Yes, please. And finally, if you're in Australia, the UK, or New Zealand, you can get a free stock with stake also linked in the description. Thanks so much for your support, guys. Let's get back to it. How many years Tesla is ahead in motors? At of least, the competition? Uh, three. Three or four. In batteries? Batteries, six. Six years, maybe seven. Full cell driving chip or autopilot chip? Uh, their chips and their software are probably 10 years ahead. The full self-driving, I think that uh, Elon Musk is going to probably surprise the planet. And before year in, they'll say, I've got it. Um, so, I don't know how, uh, but it wouldn't surprise me if they came out with full self-driving before the year, in, before year end. Everybody else is saying four to six years. So Thermal management system? Their thermal management system is the best on the planet. And I think it's going to take at least another uh, production line. So that would be at least four years ahead of everyone else. Wiring? Uh, right. They're going to split that into two. As far as um, low voltage wiring, they're the same. There's no advantage. High voltage wiring and, um, and the system that they've used, uh, that's probably another four years ahead of everybody else. The underbody, now with the rear uh, mega casting? Ten years. It'll ten take ten years, years for, uh, yeah. No one, no one's going to be jumping into that. And their operating system? It's hard to separate operating systems because Tesla does a lot of incorporate. They, they, they bring several systems and put them into one. <clears throat> no one else has that at all. Zero. Zero people have that. Uh, so I guess I would say it's, it's probably around five years. Yeah. Holy shit. We just drank from the Sandy Munro fire hydrant. Great questions, extremely insightful answers. First of all, a bombshell there from Sandy Munro, who is extremely confident that Tesla are on the cusp of solving full self-driving. Big call there. Second of all, Sandy Munro there, explicitly breaking down in detail how far ahead Tesla is of the so-called competition on everything that matters, ranging from three or four years up to a decade ahead of everyone. And because I'm such a nice guy, <laughs> just kidding, I'm not a nice guy, and please don't ever call somebody that. It's such a hideous insult. Bit of an aside for those of you who are confused right now. Let me ask the women in the audience. I'm sure that they'll be able to relate. Let's say that you've just gone on a date with Bob. And the next day, your friend Amanda asks you, hey, uh, how was the date with Bob? And you say, 
yeah, he was really nice. I'm sure 100% of the women watching know exactly where I'm coming from with this. If there's a few guys that are a little bit confused, I'll leave you guys to figure that one out. The point I was getting at is because I care so much about you guys and girls, I'm going to break down every category that Sandy Munro commented on in terms of how far ahead of the competition Tesla is. Motors, three to four years. Battery, six to seven years. Full self-driving chip, a decade, 10 years ahead of the competition, using the term competition very loosely, as always. Thermal management, four years. And by the way, thermal management is one of the most important aspects of engineering when it comes to an electric vehicle. High voltage wiring, another four years. The giga casting, the underbody, another decade. Sandy Munro, the reasoning here, it's gonna be a long time before anyone else has the balls to even attempt to do this. Another thing that's worth mentioning here, scale matters as well. If an automotive manufacturer isn't planning on producing half a million, a million plus units per year, the economics don't actually make sense to do this in the first place. So there's only a limited number of companies on the planet today who could even consider implementing this technology. And keep in mind, if their production volumes are going down over time, for example, Tesla's eating their lunch, there's gonna be less and less companies that will actually be in a financial position to do this in the first place. And finally, software, half a decade ahead of the competition. So at this point, you might be thinking, well, damn, it's gonna take a long time for the competition to catch up to Tesla, isn't it? Wrong, here's the thing, Tesla's not standing still. In fact, they're actually accelerating. They're getting faster, they're getting further ahead of everybody as every day passes. Tesla's lead is accelerating. This means that no one is going to catch them, period. Let's say that Sandy Munro is right, and I have no reason to doubt him. After all, he is the automotive engineering expert of experts, and I don't know what the f I'm talking about. I do understand engineering, I do understand physics, but I don't actually apply this to building and creating things, so I'm gonna to defer to Sandy's opinion, his expert opinion on these topics. Let's just imagine that it's 2024, and an automotive manufacturer now finally has an electric motor that can compete with what Tesla already has available in 2021. Just imagine where Tesla's electric motor technology will be in 2025. I think you guys can see where this is going. Tesla has the world's best engineers and they're already years in front of the competition and that lead is accelerating. It is not gonna be a pretty picture. We're gonna see automotive manufacturer after automotive manufacturer drop like flies throughout the second half of this decade as they try in futility to catch up with Tesla and eventually go out of business because they didn't have the engineering chops and they were too far behind in the first place. And you said, I think you said to Gali that before buying Tesla stock, you had never ever bought a one company single stock. Is it right? That's correct. Yeah. And why did you decide to do an exception in your financial and buy a Tesla stock? When we tore apart the Model 3, and we got past the ugly parts, like the, the doors didn't fit and the paint was terrible, on and on and on. Once I got past that and started looking at the technology, and we knew where, we know where everyone is. I mean, you only see a small fraction of the cars that we actually tear apart because people pay us quite a bit of money uh, to, to tear a car apart, assess it, analyze it, cost it, and then come up with redesigns. So that basically allows us to know exactly what's inside of every vehicle that's in the marketplace if we want, or at least the most advanced vehicles. And looking at what Tesla had versus everyone else, to me, this was a no-brainer. Anybody can fix a panel. Anybody can uh, fix paint. Anybody can uh, make gaps in a car better. Nobody can make, uh, can make circuit boards like what Tesla did. Nobody can produce uh, electric motors like they do. I mean, they're just, they're, 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 they're light years ahead of everyone. Well, at least a dozen years ahead of everyone. So it, to it, me, as, a, as an engineer, it was uh, any engineer that looks at a Tesla knows that it's, um, it's far and away the best, uh, the best designs on the planet. So there's a couple of things I want to touch on here. The first of all, Sandy Munro's disclosure that Tesla stock was the very first stock he bought, period, ever, is really telling. This guy is an engineering expert. He looks under the hood and he goes, holy f no one else is even close, like literally the best engineering on the planet. I've got to invest in this company. This is worth taking into consideration. And now let me flip things around and ask you guys and girls a question. How many of the emotionally and or intellectually challenged Tesla stock short sellers out there do you think knew the first thing about engineering? <laughs> Spoiler alert, zero, literally zero. When it comes to investing, and a lot of things actually, you need to know what you don't know, but more importantly than that, especially when it comes to Tesla, you need to know what you need to know. And I'm here to tell you what you need to know is engineering. If you don't understand engineering, 
you don't understand manufacturing, if you don't have at least a basic understanding of physics and how this applies to engineering and manufacturing, you do not know what you're looking at when it comes to Tesla. You might understand slivers of the business. You might understand them well from a financial point of view. You might understand them well from this angle or that angle. But if you do not get engineering at a decent level, you have no idea what you're looking at when it comes to Tesla. And this is a great opportunity to take a moment to appreciate what Sandy Munro has done for Tesla stock investors the world over. I can say from my own experience, without his insights, I wouldn't understand the company as well as I do today. We all owe him a debt of gratitude. In fact, I'm super curious. If you guys own Tesla stock, and you personally believe that Sandy Munro's insights have helped you to understand Tesla, the company, and therefore the investment opportunity even a little bit better, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know what you guys think. The thing that really blew my mind the most, and it still does, is their circuit board designs. They are, without a question of a doubt, elegant. And they're very complicated, but they're simple in construction. Many things are combined into one board. They take full advantage of, um, uh, of multifunctional thinking. Um, I, it's very difficult for me to get beyond the electronics, the simplicity of their electronics. That's, that's probably number one. Close on the heels would be the, uh, the cooling, the octo belt, the cooling system. And, and that's for basically a different reason. I mean, I could, I could sit around if I had enough time and maybe design something that would be similar to it. But when I look at how they, like the depth that you have to go into in order to make that happen, I'd have to know almost everything else about the car. This is a really important observation from Sandy Munro. Now, for those of you who haven't seen Elon Musk's recent three-part interview with Everyday Astronaut, one, what are you doing with your life? Two, go watch them now. And three, you might know where I'm going with this. Based on what Elon Musk said about SpaceX, every engineer is the lead designer. In other words, every engineer knows the entire system from the ground up. So they're completely aware of how their decisions will affect the rest of the system. This is what makes SpaceX and Tesla very unique companies. This is how Tesla is able to do something like the octave valve heat pump, whereas Ford comes up with the absolute cluster f we saw in the Mark E. If you haven't seen the Munro team's thoughts on the Ford Mark E's thermal management system, check out the card in the corner, but be warned, it is both hilarious and severely depressing. So their systems engineering people, I, I don't know how they work it there at Tesla, but their systems engineering people are obviously the same guys that are connected to the electric motor because the motor in essence has to have, uh, it has the capability for heating the car. I don't know if you knew that you stall the motor yes. and it, it creates heat. So, but all these different systems have uh, peculiar or particular needs and wants. In order to make the octo valve system work, you have to have communication extraordinaire. You can't possibly uh, do this in isolation. And so the second thing that I would say is the electronics designs first, but but right after that is the uh, is the environmental control systems, and the reason for that is because of the teamwork they must have in that in that company in order to generate uh, an elegant small design that basically suits the purpose of everybody and everybody that's uh, that's associated with a car. So that conductivity for something that has to go everywhere in a car, it's like <clears throat> what you're looking at there is the uh, is the system that runs the whole car. Without that, nothing else is gonna go. I don't care how good your battery is or your motor or anything else. Your system, if that thing fails, everything goes down. It's like, it's like your heart and the system that runs your body, that runs the fluid uh, that gets to your brain or your, or your elbow. Everything has, to, everything has to be fed and your heart is the thing that does it. So to me, the uh, heating and cooling system is uh, is the number one um, after the chipboard? The number one best team effort I've ever seen. Period. The number one team effort I've ever seen. Period. I think this is a great place to wrap up the video. Remember, there's a link in the description of the full interview. Great interview, great questions, very insightful. I recommend you guys and girls all check it out. And let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Given Sandy Munro's expertise in terms of automotive engineering and manufacturing, his comments really carry weight. He's not messing around talking about Tesla being three, four, five, seven, ten 10 years ahead of the competition. 
as I've said before, and I'm going to keep saying again until it plays out, Tesla has won the decade, and the vast majority of legacy automotive manufacturers will be bankrupt before 2031. Mark my words. I'm Stephen Mark Ryan. This is Solving the Money Problem, and I love you all. And don't forget the BlockFi Bitcoin Rewards credit card, where you can earn 1.5% Bitcoin back on every purchase. There's a link in the description. You can also earn up to $250 in crypto bonuses when funding a new account on BlockFi, also linked below. And finally, don't forget your free stocks with Weeble and Stake, also linked in the description. These great offers also help out the channel. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, if you have any ideas for future videos, let me me know i read all your comments p.s if you're still watching you're awesome if you'd like early access exclusive videos regular q a's our private discord server and more consider supporting the channel at patreon.com solving the money problem so i can keep creating content for you guys there's a link in the description you can now also become a member of the channel for some exclusive perks to learn more click the join button next to subscribe and don't forget to check out our merch store either way the best form of support is you being here and watching so thanks again